Hey guys, V Designs here with another Photoshop tutorial, and today we're going to be taking a look at um, an effect used on uh, Remix or Rated Designs background. Uh, I really love the effect when I seen his background, and uh, I'm going to try to recreate it from uh, the person who who used it. Um, probably not going to be the best, but anyway, uh, it's the part of the background where they're the 3D circles. They look like. Um, they almost look like paint splatters, but they have a really nice embossed uh, uh, outer bevel uh, feel to them. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so this is what I had made previously. Um, it looks pretty decent compared to the the other one. Um, obviously, there's flares and um, uh, some other stuff over the background, so it has a lot more light to it. Uh, not unlike mine. All right, so uh, basically, um, what you want to do is uh, open up a template or any uh, background you have to uh, work on. Uh, I'm using Strats' 30K graphic pack uh, giveaway, so um, the template itself is made from Strats, so all credit to him. All right, so basically, what you want to start off with is let me um, delete all these others, and uh, then we'll work from there. Alright, so once you just have your clean template for your YouTube background, um, just going to make a new layer. Then what you're going to do is take your brush tool and uh, go down to the basic brushes. And uh, what you want to find a uh, semi, I like I'll use the 60, point, 60 size uh, circle brush. And uh, pick a color. It could be any color you want. I'm just going to work with green. I like... Uh, light green alright all right. so you're gonna wanna come to the side and wanna draw a circle draw one a little bit below that another one and get a bigger brush for this make them connected to that and then another one actually I don't even really like that hold on let me go let me get a bigger size brush let me work with like a hundred pixels Make one all the way over here. Make one down there. All right, that seems pretty decent. All right. Um, the key to doing this is you want to actually make it look like it's actually like flowing in, like the circles aren't like too disoriented. So that's what I was trying to do. All right, then once you do that, like fill it all in, the sides. All right, and you won't you won't actually see this part. Uh, later on. Alright, so you want to go into your blending options. Uh, all you It's really simple, actually. All you want to do is click check bevel and emboss, leave it on inner bevel, and just increase the depth like all the way up to a thousand. Uh, what I found looks the best. And you can add a contour to it, or contour. Uh, and uh, some of them actually look ugly, so don't even do that, actually. That's all you really need. Alright, so once you're done, press OK. And I'm just going to drag this layer up a little bit because it's showing on the top. Alright, there, it went away. Alright. So now that's what you, that's the effect that he has, basically. You can really play around with it to get it to look a lot better um, and a lot more shaped to the way it looks better. But and, uh, now I'm going to show you how to make these little dripping uh, lines and stuff like that. It's really easy. I mean, you just basically. You're going to take a smaller brush size now, uh, depending on how big your other circles were. Like, this looks pretty good, 14. And uh, make sure you're painting it on your previous layers that has the bevel effect to it. And you're just going to want to take the brush. Let's see. Yeah, actually, that's a little too big. And uh, just paint down from the circle. And he actually has a really longer uh, splat splatter all the way down the sides. And uh, then you could take the brush even smaller and make it look like it's dripping even further. Like that, making a little dot on the end. Oops, don't hold shift. <laughs> Do not hold shift key. Alright. Uh, and you can even make a even smaller one like he did and 
like that. Actually, that doesn't look too good. All right, so you get the idea of it. And uh, he also added in some, uh, just some circles around it. So you're going to want to do what you're going to want to do is grab your same your brush again and just make it a little bit bigger. Actually, that's way big. All right, like this. Make one right here, right here. Just where so it looks like it actually is flowing, not just random. Another big one. All right, so now that you have the first layer, because you know that looks that doesn't look too bad. I mean, once again, I mean it's just this one section and style. You can add a whole other effects to the background to make it look really good. All right, so um, you're gonna want to make a new layer underneath that. And now, take your brush, change your color. I like to use a darker color than the lighter one. So I'm going to use this gray. Darker gray because my background's actually gray. All right. Take the brush, bump it up. And now, you can actually use the pen tool, but, I mean, you can use your circles too. And you're going to paint underneath this. Just like so. Connecting them. All right. And that doesn't look actually too bad. So, you can actually, well, you don't even have to copy the uh, the layer style. Just go into blending options, check the bevel and emboss, drag the depth all the way up, and uh, there you go. And once again, for that layer, you could take a smaller brush. Oh, that's not that small. It's about 15 pixels or 10 to make the lines coming off. You can make another one right next to it with a dot at the end. Another, oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't hold shift key. Only hold shift key when you're dragging the line down to make it straight. And that doesn't look too bad. And now you want to make your other stuff around the uh, the other circles you made, like the little splatters. That's what it would appear to be like. And let me just make, take. Yeah, so that doesn't actually look too bad. And uh, once again, you just you can either duplicate the layer, go into Edit, Transform, flip horizontally, and then drag it to the other side of the background, or you can actually uh, manually make it on the other side with another layer. All right, so what we're gonna do to get rid of this whole green thing, on which he has right here, he has this uh, blue border around the top, and then he has another green one underneath it, and then uh, he has the blue uh, holder for his video module but we're just gonna make this part right here um, you're gonna wanna make a layer on top of both of these change the color uh, I don't know what I'm, I'll probably work with a light no um, I'm gonna work with a dark green hopefully this will show and now what you're gonna, going to do is uh, grab your pen tool alright you're gonna wanna click a point drag out in a horizontal way hold shift key to go straight up and then you're gonna want to I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit or slide over hold shift key again drag it to the right hold shift key again to make these to make these straight points drag it down and see actually I messed up a little bit that was too wide and uh, and probably went it down to right there and then just bring it down and now connect them just like that. See, look, if you could see the, the pen tool line is a little bit crooked, which means it's not actually even. But it doesn't matter because this is just a tutorial. Rasterize the layer. And now go to blending options. Take the bevel. Drag the depth all the way up. Or actually, you don't even need to. It doesn't make that big of a difference. And uh, you can add a contour to it. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea of it. So, um, oh, and it, if you want to, you can add a pattern layer to it, pattern overlay, uh, not like that, just like one of these I have. Um, yeah, but hope you liked this tutorial, hope it helped. Um, I guess this is how to get a 3D paint splatter effect. Alright guys, see you later.